like and subscribe everybody. This is on the day I work night shift, so I'm be tired by the time I get home. I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. Hope you enjoy the sacrifices I make for you. <laughs> Thank you for the 38 subscribers. actually established a fort here. They built a stockade. <clears throat> they had a hospital there in the house. Pio Pio Mox Mox was killed with some others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when they tried to tie them up and they resisted. But I was on the first day of the battle. So the Tellyhe cabin site. Also, there's an Oregon Trail interpretive sign. But this is where the Oregon Trail went, right here. Finally, the Baker Railroad, the first railroad in the Northwest, began at Wallula, went to Walla Walla. And uh, it's a narrow gauge railroad, quite a story there. You can find more information on all these sites uh, on the Walla Walla 2020 website, www.2020.net. And uh, I encourage you to go there. Also, as far as the burials in each of these cemeteries, you can go to www.historiccemeteries.org. You will find a page on each of them with a list, usually, except for Mountain View, where there are 35,000 burials, uh -huh. a, a list of uh, all the people buried there and their dates and so forth. Part of the, uh, the tour is we're just going to show you other signage, including the Prince's Cabin. So we, we recommend that you hope you'll come back to Frenchtown, take a little more time, read all of the interpretive signage, and think more about that important site. So here we honor uh, the Tellier Cabin during the Battle of Walla Walla, the Oregon Trail, back. and the Baker Railroad. Come back. We're heading now to the Whitman Mission. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's fine. Where was the cabin? Dan, where was the cabin? The cabin was just above the interpretive center down below where the restrooms were. Oh. Just above there is the... This cabin? This one? No, not this one. Neither neither this one nor LaRoque. So it wasn't the Battle of Walla Walla cabin. It was the an earlier cabin oh. from 1844, I think. Uh, actually built by a Hudson Bay Company manager at Wallula as a kind of a peace settlement with a, uh, an Indian, the brother of the head man at the Walla Walla, at the Cayuse Village, uh, just above the Whitman Mission. We're going to go by there, and there's a sign, sign there telling that history as well, a little bit.
Well, actually, uh, there are some, there are quite a few tracks in the Oregon Trail. We'll ask Roger when we pull into the Whitman Mission to say a few words about that. There's I some say there's there. some in Whitman Mission. There's some at Wallula. I just discovered with a friend of mine, Sam Cameron, some tracks at Wallula that are very, very clear, very important. Hope to get some signage there one time. But there are several miles of tracks there in Wallula. Sure you reference the previous video you did on the Whitman Mission so they can learn about the Whitman Mission because we won't be going into the Whitman Mission. <laughs> or, you know, you just go off of what I just said. <laughs> Most people know about the great grave where the, those killed during the Whitman Massacre were buried. Um, I didn't really have much knowledge until a few days ago about the Pioneer Cemetery just in the grassy area just past them uh, where people were buried from the beginning. Sorry, let me get the speaker uh, yeah, I think the earliest burial was 1836, the year the Whitmans arrived. Wow. Um, in fact, we've been having contra dances up in the bandstand uh -huh. first Wednesday of the summer months and I noticed this grave. I checked them and it was from here. So we have now repatriated that uh, uh, monument. We took it up there the other day. Uh, these are rather heavy, so you don't want to just 